So if you are watching this video, there is a good chance that you are a Unity user like me and hope to see a similar functionality in Unreal Engine, where you could easily disable or enable game objects. However, in Unreal Engine, there is no disable or enable blueprint functionality, at least using blueprints. There is a deactivate function in blueprints, but for some reason it doesn't work for me, and there is very little documentation about it. So now, you can create a bunch of nodes that will behave quite similar to Unity's disable method, except that it isn't as simple as writing a single line of code. So to show you how I'm going to use this blueprint actor that I had created over here, I'm just going to drag this down over here, I'm going to run this, and then you can notice our blueprint is working fine. I hadn't had any blueprint nodes into it. But yeah, this is just to show how the blueprint is actually working right now before adding any of the disabling nodes into it. So I'm going to exit out of it. Then I'm going into the blueprint. Just going to double click it. You can see that I have a single component over here under components, which I named it as pillar mesh. It's a simple static mesh component over here. The collisions in it had been automatically added into it. So I'm just going to go back to the event graph. The way we're going to make this work is whenever I press the spacebar, this object over here, we kind of get disabled. And when I release the spacebar key, it will be re-enabled. So this way you can kind of understand how to re-enable and, and disable blueprint components. So specifically, it's going to be this component over here. I'm going to enable it and disable it in the event graph. I'm going to right click over here and then type keyboard event spacebar. So from here, I'm going to drag from the pressed execution pin and type set visibility. And there it already selected the mesh for us called pillar mesh. This is the same mesh that is over here. You can also kind of delete this and drag the pillar mesh from the components and add it into set visibility if you want it that way. So after I created this, I'm going to drag from the set visibility and then type set collision enabled. I'm going to get rid of this pillar mesh because we already have a reference over here. So I'm just going to connect this over here and then make sure that in set visibility, the new visibility is set to false and in set collision enabled, the new type is set to no collision because whenever we press the spacebar, we don't want the mesh to be visible or have collision. So from here I'm going to drag and type set component tick enabled and again make sure to give the reference to target and the enable button is set to false. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy these three nodes, copy them with control C and then paste them over here with control V. Then connect the released execution pin to set visibility and then make sure that the pillar mesh references are connected to the target over here. So over in the set component tick enabled, I'm going to drag the execution pin, then type print, print string. Then I'm going to give this a name pressed. So this way we kind of know whenever we press the key, and I'm going to copy this and paste this over here, and then connect the execution pin and type released. So with this we kind of know whenever we press the spacebar, and whenever we release the spacebar from the released execution pin under set visibility make sure to enable new visibility and under set collision enabled click on this drop down icon over here and then enable collision enabled query and physics and then under set component tick enabled click on this enabled checkbox over here and set it to true and that's it compile this so right now collisions are working and when I press the spacebar collisions are not working the object is properly disabled and when I release the spacebar the blueprint is back again and now collisions are again working. So yeah this is this kind of works just like in unity's disable method and that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and see you later. Bye.